So okay guys, let me show you one script and we're gonna execute it using the Android emulator, okay? So before using the Android emulator, first you have to install one plugin that is called the Android Development Tools plugin, okay? So let me take you there, installing software and now you have to install the edited plugin from the mentions uh, website, okay? And you will get the options like development tools, developer tools, clicking on that and going to the next, it will get installed. For my case, I have already installed the plugin by machines, so at using this site, all items are installed. Okay? So if you install the plugin, you will get the options like Android SDK Manager along with Android Virtual Device Manager, and you will be having option to create Android project in your uh, package explorer itself. Okay. So SDK Manager I talked about earlier. So let me create one AVD Android Virtual Device through the Android Virtual Device Manager. Okay, so first click on the Android Virtual Device Manager. So the in that AVD Manager, we can we have to create one virtual device. Okay, so you can create it if you. Uh, for my case, I have already created one virtual device. Okay, uh, so I, I'm not creating uh, any further devices. Let me show you what I've done in this case. Let me read this. Okay, so I've given name as a AVD name as uh, ADI. The device I have using Nexus 4 target API for my SDK I have installed API version 23 for Android 6. CPU ABI chosen option as a CPI Intel item for 64 bit. Make sure whatever the CPU architecture uh, CPU you are giving, uh, this should be the same with your uh, hardware component, else you will get a uh, mismatch error. I mean, when you are going to install your APK at later time, okay. So let, I will uh, cover that in the next point, uh, next tutorial. Keyboard, the hardware keyboard present. Skin, you can say it with uh, different skin options. Here, no skin, yes, skin, and dynamic hardware also have skin. And memory options are given for 2 GB. You can also give 1 GB. If you give an uh, option as a 5 to and 12 MB, then um, it may hang. I mean, uh, it will be too much slow. Okay, so better give as a 1 GB at least. And it will only take as a MB. Internal storage are given one and SD card 100 MB. Okay, so I'm not, and um, we are using the host GPU so that I've selected this option use host GPU. And I'm not clicking on that OK option that because I've already have, uh, created this virtual device before. So let me just cancel it. Okay, so uh, after, after creating this virtual device, you need to start that virtual device. Okay, so clicking the virtual device now, clicking on the start. Start button. Make sure this uh, scale display the real size. Whatever the display size you have chosen, as an Nexus 4 I have chosen. Make sure uh, you check the options. Uh, else you will get the full screen options. Okay. So not, if if you click on that launch, then the virtual device will get launched. Okay. I'm not clicking on launch because for my case I have already launched it earlier. And if you are using for the first time, so it will take some time. It will take around 10 to 15 minutes time, uh, then it will get launched, okay, for the first time user. So this way I have uh, created the virtual device uh, emulator that you can see now. It's uh, my computer sitting here. Okay, so this is my virtual device. Uh, if you if you navigate to that, we can see uh, not here. Let me go back to the settings. Okay, so the Android version six point zero that I'm using, and list of all the things are same ram display so it's like uh, if you are using the real device then it will be much faster but if you are using the emulator version uh, the android emulator so it will definitely be slower than the uh, real real one device so. so you can see that it's a little bit slower and you can also install the different APK also like you have to install the APK in your machine then just drag and drop here or you can install it by the adb install command okay
Okay, so don't ever let me just My computer is getting hanged due to my RAM. I only have only 4 GB RAM, that's why it's getting hanged. Okay, uh, so I mean, uh, after creating the virtual device, now you have to make sure the whatever the device has been added. Okay, so to get the device number or device ID, you need to get command ADB devices. So you can see the emulator 5554 device is the device emulator ID. This device has been added, and now. We are going to open, uh, do some uh, mobile app uh, automation. So okay, we are executing our script on the mobile applications using the uh, Android browser itself. You can also use the Chrome browser for Microsoft. I'm showing you for the Android browser. Okay. So clicking on that first, I need to have the package and the app activity of that uh, web browser. Okay. So for that. Uh, we need to get it via the apk info in the android page itself or we can uh, get it from the console like on the adb shell command okay let me show you for this this is now in the focus Guys, you can see that, that the default browser has been opened the, for the browser com.android browser. This is the app package, and the com android browser the browser activity is the app activity. Okay, so let me go back to my clips. Okay, so for this script, um, for this script, basically, it will be I, mean, I will be accessing the Facebook URL and I'll be providing to I'll be navigating to the forward user ID of the Facebook and I'll be providing some. Uh, invalid input first I will provide the blank input I will check the notifications then I'm pro I will provide the invalid input I will check the second notifications that's I'm going call going to validate okay so first we have to set the capabilities in the before class that we have set the device name emulator that I've got from here itself device name emulator 5554 along with the package android browser and android browser browser activity I have to provide okay so those things I have provided app package and app activity Platform is the Android browser drive will be Android. It's the Android default browser I'm using, not the Chrome browser. Okay, version 6.0 that I've shown you guys from the emulator versions. Okay, command time order given a 120 second. And URL, you want new URL. This is the URL of the that is the URL of the APM server that I'm going to use. I haven't set up the URL in the APM server itself right now. Let me set it first 127 for 0.0.1. This is the URL for the local host, okay. And this is accessing the port 4723. Okay, so driver I'm instantiated as the APM driver, and in the before class, I'm instantiating the Android driver from the APM driver and the passing the URL and the capabilities, okay. So this is my before class, and this is my test method. So first, I'm navigating to the Facebook page, waiting there, and then after try catch condition, I'm um, given. Uh, if this all has been found, then it first click the uh, I mean, forgotten password link. It will print the link and it will click the IQIP link. Then it will uh, navigate to the next page and then it will uh, provide my provide my. It will find the field, the email address, the phone number field, and display the attribute name. And it will pass as a blank value that appears in the system or print the blank value. So passing the blank value. It will just click on the search button without uh, giving anything. It will click on the search button. So I should be accessing the first notifications that I have given as a system that get printer learn. 
At second time passing invalid phone number, phone number given is 23 only. And then again click on the search button. So I, I should be expecting the second notifications that uh, that I give ensure in the system here the printer and okay. And if there is no any found, if anyone or any single element is missing, then it will give us some options that uh, that catch inside the catch block. No such element exists. Okay. And in the tier down method, if driver not equal to null, I'm just closing the uh, driver instructions from full key. Okay. This is a very simple method. I haven't asserted or verified or validations done uh, several validations, uh, but you for your project, you also can put several assertions here, validation here, but you can verify the content of the notification message is correct or not. You can put the log accordingly, you can get the uh, screenshot for your fail case cases. So, those things will come later. Just let me show you how to execute the script using the emulator. So this is a test ng class. Uh, my emulator is working fine. Let me first go back to the home page. Okay. Now I have to start my server for Ethereum server. Okay. So Ethereum server has been started. Now let me minimize the command prompt. So now let me run this as a test ng test. And we'll see the result. See if you run if you, if you run this as a test ng set, so first you will see that in the uh, APM server has been started and it will take some time. It is getting the connected device, the DV devices, and then it will invoke all the, the capabilities that I mentioned in the script. Okay, so let's go start it. And this is my uh, Android emulator right now. Let's go back to the Eclipse. It's so a sprinting first printer, the setting of the device and these are capabilities for emulator that are given as a console output. Okay. So let's wait for a while and see the result. Um, as we are using the Android emulator, it will be slow in the real world. Okay. So it's loading the Facebook pages. Okay. So now it will click on the forward password link. Clicking on the forward password, it's snipping to the next page. Okay, now so it's getting this successfully. Now it will click on the search button without inputting anything. So I should be expecting some notification message here if we provide the blank hello. Let's see. It's taking some time. I don't know what the issue is there. This is the team server slot is going on. Okay, for this driver, still not finding. I don't know. I don't know. Some issue was been there. Uh, it's not able to find the element, I guess. So we have a stack trace and element could not be located on the page. Not sure what it what is. Value content email address or phone number. Uh, it's not getting displayed, so let me go to the what is this issue? Okay, do one they just run it again. You see the result again.
whatever is going on. It will take some time to open the browser as we are using the Android emulator. Uh, so the browser got opened. So let's see the result that we were expecting. So it's loading the, the URL I've given. Clicking on the forward cursor thing. Okay, this time it's clicked successfully on the search button without inputting anything. So fill in the at least one field to search your account. This is the notifications I was expecting. Okay, so let me go to back. Go back to my clips. The first notification I'm getting. It's printed. Providing valid phone number, click on search button. Then you should be expecting your search did not return result. Please try again with other information. So you are, we are also getting the second notification. Okay. So now it will close the driver instances and clean the browser. Mm. Okay. So. So browser registration has been closed successfully. And APM processing log. Okay. Yeah. So delete uh, sessions. So session has been successfully deleted, and it's come back to the home page again. Okay. So the result we can see that uh, first it uh, set the capabilities that are given in the console. Uh, this is print uh, console command. And then it's recognized the forgotten password that it is displaying. Please enter your email address, phone number to search for your account. Here uh, in that field, email address, phone number, please getting displayed. Here the plus in the blank value. Click on search button. This is the notifications, first notification I should be getting. And if it passed the invalid one, the second notification, your search did not return any result, I should be getting. So one state uh, test uh, method I have used one, if we have to check. So we can see the result that if you check total took 69 seconds, each take uh, if we use in the real one, so it, uh, it will hardly take 20 seconds or 30 seconds. So the emulator is little bit slow, then uh, it took uh, 69 seconds by the case got successfully passed. Okay, so save here. I mean, in this way, we can execute our script in the emulator itself and. As Android emulator of the SDK version is a little bit slower, so you can also use Jenny, uh, Jenny machine. Okay, so I've covered the Jenny machine topic in my next tutorial. And so, one more thing like uh, if you want to take the screenshot, in case uh, it's not recommended that you take the screenshot for each and every pages, but in case if your page got failed, your network is unavailable. Uh, you, yeah, any test step failed, test method failed, then the relevant uh, screenshot need to be taken. Okay, so here the demo screenshot I've given. Let me show you one. Like uh, you can take screenshot this way. Okay, see the screenshot has been taken from my previous cases. This way you can take the screenshot. APM screenshot and it will collect it on the APM screenshot library. Along with you can mention what about the uh, script name with folder. The particular script name folder the screenshot will get stored okay for the screenshot i will show you later i'll cover the session later so in that tutorial so what we have seen we have set a avd okay set the avd we go the focus of the avd's applications via the adbcl command let me see it okay later we have seen we have configured we have set uh, the uh, apm server 
and after that we have successfully executed the uh, will execute the script in my android emulator and the test and script course successfully passed okay so, so this so we can execute script in the demo test android emulator and uh, so if you guys have any questions just let me know okay thank you for watching